Soviet Union uh, felt like they were very much more powerful in the 70s because of uh, our failure in Vietnam and the conversion of many countries to communism, and they, so they felt like they were on the march, they were on the move. This is a third occasion since World War II that the Soviet Union has moved militarily to assert control over one of its neighbors. For the first time, Jimmy Carter uh, admitted that he uh, finally uh, realized uh, what the uh, Soviet Union uh, was all about. Uh, well, the uh, Americans uh, were not quite sure what to do uh, with regard to Afghanistan. Uh, there was concern that uh, uh, the country is, is so impossible to manage and govern, uh, even by the Afghanis, and, and nobody else has ever really won the war there. Uh, the anti-government rebels call themselves the Mujahideen. My dad was supporting uh, Mujahideen and um, he was never happy for the Russians to uh, come to Afghanistan and occupy my country. My uncles uh, from both sides, from my mother's side and from my dad's side, were fighting against uh, Russians. They were in the Mujahideen uh, forces. Do you think that the, the Mujahideen alone can get the Soviet army out of Afghanistan and topple the government? Uh, really, it is a difficult job, really. It's not easy. Why? Really? Afghanistan people, they are very poor and they have not enough arms against these uh, modern uh, weapons of Russia. But uh, the people in other countries, they could support the Mujahideen, provide them arms, weapons, money, food, clothes, medicine, anything. The Mujahideen are alarmed by Soviet occupation of other Muslim nations. We have seen what happened in, the, you know, Central Asians, Asian republics. Uh, now, you know, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, all the other uh, republics. They're going to need millions of dollars worth of arms to fight the Soviet army. The U.S. goes public with its fight against the communist Afghan government. They figured, you know, we're not going to go in there and, and let it become a graveyard for our people. The Soviets are in there. They've already made the commitment, so let's just funnel aid to the Northern Alliance and then to the, the broader group called the Mujahideen and uh, just make the Soviets pay the price for uh, kind of getting going into the wrong place at the wrong time.